I'm shocked. <laughs> I am shocked that shocked? you you don't understand why people like me and millions of other Americans right. are ups upset, annoyed, and uh, looking for answers that a guy like right. Common mm -hmm. would be entertained at the White House. Now, look at the picture. It's hard not to blame us, but time forgives. In the shy where the young die often. Common traveled to Cuba, mm -hmm. all right, to meet with Joanne Chesimard, mm -hmm. who was convicted mm -hmm. of killing a New Jersey state trooper. Common said, quote, damn, this was somebody who fought for my freedom. Mm -hmm. This is a cop killer. This right. is a woman who gunned down, along with two other accomplices, a woman mm -hmm. who is a member of the Black Liberation Army, right. who they found 16 live rounds in her purse. Mm -hmm. And this guy mm -hmm. thinks she's great. Thinks she's innocent. No. She's great. Well, well, but also this was somebody who fought me, for my freedom. It yeah. made me want to do better in life. I can't. I can't speak for him because I'm not him. Yes. I don't think. Not yet. I'm. You know. I'm. I'm. Uh, I can rap. I rapped on the show, and I think it was pretty impressive. Oh, Riley. Oh, really? I know that you feel me because I jokes to the folks while you choke on that smoke. You are saying that he is celebrating. A cop killer or promoting cop killing? No, I'm not saying he's saying? promoting cop killing. Well, people on your network are. Let's just speak to me. All right, all right, I'm talking to you. Celebrating, celebrating okay. a cop killer? Yes. Okay. Here's the only distinction I would make there, and I can't speak for him. What I think he's doing is not celebrating, but honoring someone he thinks was wrongly convicted of cop killing. I think he believes she was convicted unjustly. Okay. So, now, again. So that's fine. And if Common wasn't even born when this crime took place, right. thinks that based on nothing because the evidence is overwhelming. Okay. All right. He's entitled as American to do that. The President of the United States, though, mm -hmm. takes him into all the right. House, all right. all right, thereby thereby validating him. Come on. That was a bad decision. You're, you you're know saying, it was a you're bad saying decision. saying that by having him at the White House, that, in essence, was tacit approval of everything he's ever done. No. To some extent. It validates him, all right? And as an elevate, It elevates him as, an as, a, as a poet or whatever. Mm -hmm. Do you know how many poets would have liked to have been there? Let me, let me ask well, you a question. No, no. Let me ask you a question. Right. Why was he selected, in your opinion? Why did he get that honor, in your opinion? Because I think he's not defined as an artist by this uh, uh, Asada Shakur this case. Is big. I think he's defined, well, I, I think it probably isn't as big in, in, in his career as, as you might think it is. Yeah, look. Let, 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 me, let me go to a different point, if I may. It sounds like what you're saying is, and correct me if I'm wrong, and I don't want to be wrong when I'm with you, because you know I got mad love for you. That's a rap phrase. I got it. All right. <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong. What you're saying is, if an artist supports someone that has been convicted of killing a cop, they should not be allowed to go to the White House. No, it's, it's a little bit little. more than that. Okay, say it again. I am saying that when a president invites someone, in this case the first lady invites someone, okay. the resume has to be put in front of them. Mm -hmm. And they have to select people uh -huh. who are almost unimpeachable, all mm -hmm. right, because they're getting that honor to go to the White House. Right. This guy is controversial all day long with this stuff. Not only did he support this cop killer or celebrate the cop killer, he celebrated another one in Philadelphia. Again, he's celebrating someone he thinks was unjustly. He's not celebrating. Is this Perry is, Nason we're talking about now? Is this the most brilliant lawyer of all time? Who? This comment. Oh, oh, oh comment. Well, let me ask you a question. On. Are you familiar with, with Leonard Peltier? Yes. Okay. Leonard Peltier was convicted of killing two All right, FBI now we're agents. going on to wounded knee. It's okay. similar. Uh huh. All right. No, it's not. You're, you're, well, why you're is petty, it not? Because you're petty fogging the issue. It's the exact same thing. It's a guy convicted of killing. A law enforcement official. Now, guess who wrote a song about Leonard Peltier? Yeah. Bono. Okay. Guess where he was? The White House. Booyah! All right. That's a rap word. Did Bono... Yes. Did he actually come out and say that he was innocent? Oh, I think that's the, the crux of the song. No, I think it was raising no. questions about it. And, and, and the basic now, theme... Now who's pettifogging? Now okay. I can't even Look, see you. I can't... Hear your I... pettifog. No, that is exactly the same. Okay. Bob Dylan wrote a song yeah. about a convicted killer named Hurricane Carter. He's been to the White House. Why are you drawing the line at common? There is a selective outrage machine here at Fox that petty fogs 
only when it suits the narrative that suits them. This guy is in the crosshairs in a way that he shouldn't be. Whether you agree with him or not, over you may think he's ignorant in believing that Asada Shakur is innocent. You may think he's ignorant in believing that Mummy is. But then guess what? Bono can't go to the White House. Springsteen can't go to the White House. Bob Dylan can't go to the White House. You got a lot of people that aren't allowed to sit in the White House because they written songs. You say that because Bono, Springsteen, no, 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 and I Bob don't. Dylan wrote songs defending people who were accused of heinous things yes. that I have to give Common a pass no. because he did the same thing. You have to be consistent right. with your outrage. Let me give you... Let be, me be consistent. Cons I will. Common mm -hmm. visited, went to see... <laughs> So what if Bono right. went to see Leonard in Peltier? Cuba what if, and so said, now that's your line? You're, said, quote, you're putting yourself in a smaller and smaller no, I'm box. Not. I'm not. So this guy is worthy of it because he actually visited. And by the way, I don't agree with you that that's what puts it over the top. I completely this disagree with you. This makes it beyond a reasonable are, doubt. Oh, please. Oh, come on. You he know this guy is sympathizing with two cop killers. I don't you know, know that. I don't know him. He believes they were unjustly convicted. That's what I imagine this is. He doesn't. So you just whip this visit to Cuba. You put it in your little drawer. It never happened. No, it happened. Okay, that's enough for a sitting president to say, you know what? This guy might be radioactive. I'm not doing it. G. Gordon Liddy, in the Randy Weaver case after the ATF stormed that facility, right? When he was talking about the ATF, do you know what he said on his radio show? He said, if they broke down, if they break down your doors, don't shoot them here because they're wearing protective gear. Shoot for the head. Was that before or after Liddy made the gold commercial? <laughs> okay. You see, your craziness that you bring this stuff in. Okay. I'm making you president of the United States, which is just Every insane. time I come here, you make me president of the United it's States. It's insane, I know. But all right. I, all right. So you're sitting there, and you know on your resume, okay, mm -hmm. you already have Reverend Wright. You got Bill Ayers, mm -hmm. okay? And then a guy named Common comes in, and you know. You mean that Fox you know, News has all already of these, put these people as they basically connected the dots as though these are the most influential people. No, in my you life. have a history of associating with dubious people. You know that, I know it, everybody knows it. And then you say, you know what? It's a good idea to bring in a guy who sympathizes with a cop killer. Do you the, think the that's original, a good decision? Here's what I think. I think Common believes that this woman <laughs> You're the president. Unjustly, Will you make oh, that call? Can I be honest with you? Yeah, please. If I'm the president yeah. and I'm booking my own poetry slams, <laughs> throw me out of office. Okay. Because with, I would believe as president, with pleasure. I would have things to do okay. rather than but go over the list how about your of guys? poetry slams. How about your guys? You already uh, you have right. You already have air. Here's what I would think. You already think. have Bernadette Dorn. Here's what I would so think. let's bring in common. Here's what I would think. Let a quartet. It's a poetry slam. Who gives a crap? A lot. A lot of people do. You this do is National police? police Week. You know what, Bill? Let's do something nice for police, for National Police Week, you and I. Let's have uh, us agree to promote a reinstatement of the ban on assault weapons. Because that doesn't uh, celebrate killing cops metaphorically or figuratively. It tries to get weapons that kill cops literally right. off the streets. As you know. That's important. As this you know, if is you've ever nothing. done any research... No, you do support it. Correct. I'm saying, Correct. let's, and why don't you get the entire apparatus here. The apparatus. The, 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 the infection machine that is the, the overreaction. You mean the diverse opinions that we you have know, here? You Unlike are, you, your network? You, you have not a diversity of opinion. Oh, stop. You bring in Come people on. like Combs so you can beat him around the head uh -huh. with pillows. He has no defense mechanism here. He's kind of just like, uh, Combs is a smart guy. He's a very smart right? guy. He actually likes you, which. I, I like him as yeah, well. He's, know, a very, right. he's a very kind of Can I say this? I like you as well it saddens me to see you wasting your time all right now and by the way songs are not literal you know that right oh stop like when, when the cube when the stop weather it. girls stop sing it. it's raining men it's not really <laughs> precipitation I got of that. males all right it's a metaphor stop attacking the weather girls are one of my favorite groups are they really yeah i love them all right the thing i like about you is you do take cheap shots all the time but you defend those cheap shots let me and tell you, you do something it very well that's not the only thing you like about me i'm like a shot of Levittown, right in your ass. Now, Iran's building, you know, nuclear weapons over there. Mm -hmm. And if they get them, they might give them to uh, some guy named Ahmed, who might then take them to Cleveland and, and blow everything up. Mm -hmm. So what are we going to do with that? Well, doesn't Pakistan have nuclear weapons? Yes, and they do. Would, couldn't they give it to somebody? 
I, I don't know. I don't Doesn't think Russia have nuclear weapons? Russia Couldn't doesn't. they give it to somebody? They could. The problem isn't the country that gets them. The problem seems to be the weapon. I think the strategy of the, what we've done, and again, thank you guys for uh, uh, ratcheting up uh, the fear on this. Uh, you're is, not afraid that Iran gets a nuclear weapon and they cause all kinds of There's a lot of things to be afraid of in the world. I asked the guy, you're, so, you're a what? Jewish guy, right? What? You're a Jewish guy. Who, who told him? <laughs> all right. Son of a b Did you tell him? So I, I believe what that gave it, I believe that the president what gave it wants, away? Wants was it my happy Hanukkah when I, I walked in? I think there is a war on Hanukkah in this country, Mister. <laughs> I believe the Ahmadinejad, you know, he wants to drive you and all the other Jewish people into the sea. So what? Can, so I cannot control that. I cannot control so what those what things are. What we can control is we can we can stop them from having the no, nuclear you, weapon. Here's the thing. You might be able to stop them from having a nuclear weapon, right. but as technology grows and becomes more accessible to people, this is going to become an increasingly difficult problem. And here's what we but can't what do. Here's what we can't right. do. What can't we do? Our strategy for battling terrorism can't be that you overthrow governments and then make the United States military uh, commit 150,000 troops to those lands until they can somehow stabilize that. the governments mm -hmm. long that. enough so that you can prevent 10 people from plotting destruction in a basement. It's bankrupting Terrorism, the country. It's bankrupting the country. But you don't seem it's too concerned wrong. about Iran. I, you just don't seem to be that concerned about it. Because Iran, like most of these other countries, has a self-preservationist streak. And I am a firm believer that that self-preservationist streak keeps them, they're not mad, they understand. Look, there is no theory of mutual destruction with Iran. Let's say they get one off. It would be tragic. Well, how will we trace they, it? We oh, never trace it. Please. Look, they can't even get absolutely they wrong. can't even question the underwear if bomber. Somebody, all right? They can't get a guy with underwear that, and they can't get the answers. answers. Let's look at the geniuses we're up against. <laughs> right, Richard Reed was the airplane bomber. He yeah. tried to take that explosive and put it in his shoes. Right. It took them eight years. And the plan they came up with in eight years is, uh, why don't we try sticking it under that guy's genitals? That's what they did in eight years. They moved from the guy's shoes up to his underwear. Right, and he, that's got, who we're up he got to Detroit, all right? So, so that's the frightening part about uh, it. Now, trying Khalid Sheikh Mohammed yeah. in your living room, because you live downtown. That's and, right. And he's going to be in your living room. That's right. Are you down with that? You want that civilian I'd drug? like him tried, honestly, yeah. in the pit. I'd like him right in there. Mm -hmm. And I'd like him to be... Uh, uh, executed at halftime of the Super Bowl but really, and then reanimated so we could do it every year. Six hundred million, seven hundred million going to cost the city. Um, well, we I'm, don't have any money here anyway. I'm glad to see that you're suddenly very concerned about cost. And, and uh, I am. I'm a fiscal conservative. No, and I think when maybe when the that. Iraq war was, was coming up, you might have mentioned that. It would have been Listen, a big help. I said many times on this program that was not a good thing to do. All right? Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh. You said you would apologize if they didn't find weapons of mass destruction. And I did. I said I was wrong many times. That whole Iraq thing right. did not go well. Let's go back to... KSM. Yeah. Where he should be tried in front of a military tribunal. Now, Senator I'm not against Ryan. military tribunals. But you military... can't, you're waffling now. You're in the middle. I need a strong VP. I know, you know, you're I'm not running with you. Oh, you're not? You've no, turned it down already? I am not running oh, with you. Come on. It's I'm not going to be your VP because I know what that's going to be. It's... I get one job, and that's to light the White House menorah. Not interested. Okay, but look. There are valid concerns yes. about trying Khalid Sheikh Mohammed in a civilian court. Right. But one of the valid concerns isn't that it makes us a terrorist target and that it emboldens the enemy. How do you know? Because we're already a terrorist target.